tell your story, introduce a character, <coughs> take a beat, let us absorb it, introduce another, or introduce the problem, but try to treat it as a series of things that we absorb. One, then a new thing, then a new thing, okay? One thing we asked people to do when they first came um, up this morning, and I think a little bit last night, is come on up, gather us in, <coughs> and tell the story, okay? Don't rush yourself. We have to, we have time. Okay? All right? We're good? Um, do, um, do, what? Yeah. Okay, guys, I have two stories for you. You can choose between a uh, <laughs> theme what's about uh, religion, sex, and alcohol, and the second one is about. Uh, smoking marijuana, old people, and communism. We are in a countryside, uh, in a little town of Puya. Zveva is uh, 17 years old, and she moved around Italy due to his father's job. A farmer goes out from the, comes out from the house. Okay. <laughs> in a not distant present. After the oil war and before the water war. She's a little girl, she's 12, and she lives alone with her father. At this moment she understands that he has something that the man of the village doesn't have. And then, shocked by what he heard, he tried to run. And uh, so she starts to spy Auntie because she is interested on this uh, sauna things for the body because she wants men of the village doing that. And this starts with this girl who's driving his car. But Maria is the typical southern Italian grandmother. She's uh, fat and good and she communicates with gestures. Uh, she's very tender. Maybe they're going to have sex but she says no I don't want to have sex with you you know like a real woman like a cool woman like a woman who is very confident. And, and uh, Giovanni is a farmer, he's a raw man. He's a uh, is a typical uh, typical farmer connected to his land. He is his, his land. She is an old woman. She is 16 years old. She is there with her table and with her makeups and a big mirror. Finally, there is a marriage between uh, Giovanni and, um, and Maria. He has a problem. What can he do? <laughs> so here he comes out with an idea. She makes a new life. But uh, uh, Carmelo uh, doesn't, uh, wasn't there. That nobody can see him. <laughs> but the religion persons, the monks were seen. <laughs> so he's thinking that these two people, Italian, Carmelo and Sandra, are making fun of him. It's only a stupid joke. They don't speak. They never speak. They always this kind of really, really unexpressive Face. And they do stuff for her, she does stuff for them. So that's our setup. Sandra is still trying, and, uh, trying to get her uh, as a musical <laughs> and knows uh, more he knows her. And we have this fashion show, the big rundown, Rita wins the fashion show while Isabel is going swimming in the sea. So. <coughs> 